In this video I'm going to show you how I make this fabulous pile of faux ephemera for art journals, junk journals, altar books or whatever you like. So first of all I start off with a sheet of A3 paper which is 11.7 by 16.5 inches and then I cover it with all sorts of bits of paper that I have. I've got bits from book pages, I've got uh, letters, I've got images of accountancy, I've got a bit of the Tim Holtz uh, graph paper, I've got some scrapbooking paper, some pages from books, um, some Pittman shorthand and I'm just laying it out there like that, getting an idea of how I want to glue it on before I get started. Now the whole theme for this page is going to be time because I'm making things for my time altered book. So now I'm getting to glue them down. I've sped this up so it isn't too tedious for you to watch. But what I'm aiming for is to get good colour balance, get um, text uh, broken up by less text, images here and there. Just trying to balance it all out, really. It's just a matter of what feels right to your eye. Nothing, uh, there's no right or wrong, really, at this stage. It's all going to be cut up into postcards, tags, ATCs and all sorts. Just you see, you'll see it at the end, what I make. I'll do a proper, I'll do a proper flip through of what I've done at the very end. It's amazing how much you get out of these. And in fact, I enjoyed doing this so much, I made a second one. <laughs> so I've just got that little gap in the middle there that I need to fill up. Go through all my scrap bits of paper, see what fits. I've got some old magazine, that'll be great. Nice goldy colour to it. Some interesting text, I might pop that there. Just need something for that little bit in the middle there. I'm going to glue that down. It, it, that's the hard part when you get to the end. You've got to, these little bits that you've got to fill up. <laughs> that's the only hard part. There we go. I think that's it completed now. So that's the background down. And now I want to put on some elements uh, that are interesting and also reflect the subject that I'm thinking of, which is time, as I said earlier. So I've got this image of this uh, doll. She looks old fashioned, so she goes well. I quite like having a human element in as well. A building with the clock on. Um, an actual clock face. I've got a couple of clock faces. And a little egg timer. There. I think that's one more clock and that's it. There's a nice little tartan clock there. So what I do next is I scan it or photograph it and then I make prints from it and then I use those prints. I can actually actually use the masterboard, but I'm not entirely finished with it yet. First of all, I'm going to put on a bit of paint and some stamping. Not a lot. Because you don't want to do too much on your masterboard. You don't want it too busy because you want, I want, well, it's the way I work, is I like to add elements on later. So I'm just mixing up some, a nice pale colour. That's some raw sienna with some white. I'm just going to stamp through this stencil of mine, which I use a lot. Just tie some of these uh, bits together, really. That's the idea of that. But as I say, it gets, um, it gets all cut up anyway in the end. So it just adds a bit of texture. So I'm just putting it on three places. And then I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. Again, I don't need to do too much because I do that on the actual smaller pieces. Got a bit there, I didn't want that there. Okay, so turn it back around again. <laughs> and now I'm going to do a bit of stamping. I think I'm using the brown. Yes, it's the brown because it goes in with all these colours. It's mostly browns. Another little one. So this stage I'll go and scan it. So here I am back. I've got some scanned pages here and now I'm just cutting out some detail. This is a very lovely picture of, I don't know if she's a fortune teller herself because although I'm talking about the subject of time, I'm talking past, present and future.
so I love that. I love that image like that. And I love the way her head fits up around in, inside that clock. So I'm going to cut that into a postcard shape. And it's a bit too large because it's mm, a quarter of A3. It's a bit too large. So I scan it and make some smaller copies from it. And I love it. It's my favourite piece out of the whole lot, actually. So that goes on there and then I can trim the edges. Just using some paper to press it down. I think my hands might be a slight bit sticky and I didn't want to get glued down to it as well. Right, so that I'm going to trim and then I'm going to put that aside to scan later. And then I'm going to carry on and do some more. I love that. So I'll take that downstairs and scan later. And now um, I'm going to trim some more pieces. I've cut off, cut into postcard sizes and some smaller sizes as well. This I'm turning into a book, which I'm going to have on the inside front cover for people to sign in. This is from my altered book. So it's very, it's just a simple fold and a few sheets of paper inside. And later on I put a clock face on the front of it, but I don't know if I show that. I tried a few things out, the hand didn't work. So I thought I'll just carry on, carry on and make it and I'll add the final finishing touches later. I'm looking for my needle. <laughs> and it's going to get all my book binding stuff. Oh, I'm doing the paper first, obviously. <laughs> Here's the inside bits. I thought squared paper would be quite nice. It's kind of thin, so you can have plenty in. I thought a few pages and each person could fill up a page if they liked. So I'm just measuring what size I need. I'm going to mark it. Those lines are very useful actually, it makes it easier. Trying to see if I've got enough there without having the margins, and I do. I just struggled a bit there. <laughs> yeah, that paper would not go. <laughs> That's so annoying. But I didn't need that area anyway, so I could have just trimmed that off. I'm a dope. Never mind. Need to cut down a bit on there. I'm just doing it by eye. When it's a little book like this, it's quite easy to do like that. So I'm going to fold that over, pop it inside. That's lovely. So now I just need to sew it. So I need to go and get my book binding stuff, clear that mess away, and then I'll be back. So here I am with all my book binding bits and pieces. I've got my all. I'm going to clip the pages together so they don't slither about. And I've got a threaded needle there as well. So I'm just going to clip them in. Probably not necessary for a small book like, like this, but it does make life easier. So I'm just going to, I was going to try with the needles without using the oil all because it's only a few pages, but I couldn't quite manage to get the needle through. So I used the oil in the end. And then I decided I wanted to go from the outside in anyway. So I've got some threads dangling that I can attach things to. So I've changed my mind. There we go. We'll go from the outside. So go into the middle, out through the top, out through the bottom, and back out through the middle. I let the thread go either side of the thread, pull it tight, and do a double knot. I'm just going to tie off the string. Leave a bit of length, so I can attach something to it. Sometimes I just attach beads, or sometimes a little bit of paper cut into pretty shapes. So, uh, I've done that. Now I've cut out all these bits of um, interesting shapes. That's, oh, I put the clock on the front of the book. Love that now. Oh, that, that's going to go inside the front cover like that. Um, anyway, I've cut all these postcard shape bits, these tag shape bits, and now I need to uh, finish them off. That's the uh, print. 
that I made from the card I did earlier. I love it. She needs to be turned into a tag. So, yes, there's a bit of, it's a bit of, I don't quite know what I'm doing, but then I get cracking. So I'm going to turn her into a tag. And of course, I'll put an eyelet in. <laughs> Just uh, round off those bottom edges there. Here's the eyelet kit. Of course, I'm eyelet obsessed. I've got to put eyelets in everything, haven't I? So let's choose one that goes quite well colour-wise. I think I'll use the um, orangey coloured one. I'm using the silent setter here. And I've got some thread I'm going to put through that later. I'll do a finishing off phase later on. So what have we got here? We've got this little card that I made. I added a bit of extra collage to it. I like that. So I'm going to do an eyelet in that as well, of course. Of course I'm going to do an eyelet. Now what colour am I going to use? I use the black one because it goes quite well with the figure. And there's going to be a bit of sewing on that later. I'll show you that later though. I've done this little um, tag. I'll show you that later as well. And I've got these little pieces. Now I'm going to turn that into a tag. And I like the, I want the, the shape on the top, but I don't want to cut it down so short. So I'm puzzling about how I can do that. Then I remember that I've actually got... How do I do it just now? Yes, I've got some blank bits I'd cut out from. So I'm going to just draw inside that and tri do that by hand. And I've got a slightly longer tag. So I didn't want to lose all that I had on there. So I'll just trim that. And of course, I'm going to put an eyelet in it. <laughs> I'm an eyelet addict. It can't be helped. There we go. Just trying to decide if there's something I can put on to finish it off. But first of all, we'll do an eyelet. <laughs> what colour? It's the fun part, isn't it? Choosing the colour. The colours I've mainly used in neutrals. Which is unusual for me. So there's another tag. I'm looking through. That postcard there is an old one. It isn't part of the master wall, but I thought I was going to include it, but I didn't in the end. I was going to make some other tags. There's just, yes, there's, um, there's an image there which I accidentally printed with her head chopped off, but I can use the fabric to make tiny tags. There's all these little pieces that need finishing off. And um, I'm just showing you again the masterboard. And I didn't show you, but I'm showing you now. The second one I made, I forgot to show you that. I got so carried away. I made two. I only meant to make one. So I'm going to do some more finishing off of these pieces now because um, they look great, but they don't look finished to me. <laughs> so I'm rounding off some corners. And I'm going to add some fabric and lace and sewing. There, that bit of lace is nice there to all of them. I don't actually show the sewing bit because if I bring my sewing machine in, you can't see anything anyway. I really need to set up another camera to do that. So I'm just bobbing a bit of glue on just to hold it in place while I sew it. I'll put that aside to dry before I take it to the sewing machine. Now this postcard needs something definitely and I've got I've got some images I've cut out that are time themed past present and future so hopefully I'll be able to finish it off I look at that hand but somehow it doesn't work for me I tried him but he ends up I think I showed him earlier on an ATC now Liza Minnelli I like her I'm thinking if she has the clock behind her and I put it to the left that looks better so that that works for me and at the very end I also put words on as well but you'll see that at the end when I do like a flip through of them all so I pop the clock down try to get it the right way up <laughs> and then Liza Minnelli is going to go on top so her head fits inside the clock there I 
I'm trying to decide whether to round the corners or not. I, I, I do it an awful lot, but I will do. It does make them putting them inside and inside pockets easier. The corners don't catch then. So that's that one. This is the one that I turn into an ATC. You'll see it in a minute. This fella goes on. And here it on, fits on perfectly. There we go. And I think I'll do some sewing on this one as well. Now I love this as a long tag, these two actually, I can't quite decide how to finish them off. They're not finished in my, my opinion. This could do with finishing as well. I can't remember what I did with this one. I did try a few things, the hand gets lost. I tried those ladies. I tried them a lot in the end, I put them, in, I put them elsewhere. <laughs> I didn't use them in these in the end. That hand works quite well in that, so that's going on. That's going to be a sideways tag. I'm just going to do the tag corners. And of course, I'm going to add an eyelet. Of course, I'm going to add an eyelet. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if there's any videos where I don't have eyelets, apart from the old, the um, abstract ones. <laughs> I'm going to add some lace to that as well. Gluing it down just to hold it until I get to the sewing machine. There. Now I've got this ticket, I want to try and figure out how to use it. So I'm thinking I'm going to pop it on there. It's a nice little tab. I'm just going to simply staple that on. And I'm going to round the corners. There. Now this, I've got the leftover piece of paper from my double page spread. Uh, when I did my use my collage papers and I want to integrate that into something. I love the hand on it. So that's going on. That very dull piece of postcard there. It's very grey. So this certainly brightens it up. I think it helps when you're working on a theme to gather as many elements as you can. Oops, need to put it on the wrong one then. And I'm going to pop it over there. That's it. I'm just going to trim off the edges. And so um, we're going to come back with them all finished now. I take, the way to the, take them away to the sewing machine and now I'm back and here they are. I'm going to take my time showing you. So I've got this tag that goes in the secret pocket. I have to leave it in there otherwise I lose the pocket. I've made this little tag that says time. I've made this little book for people to sign in. I've got this, which is Liza Minnelli on a uh, postcard size piece. I love this one with the pretty fabric on the top and I've got this that says time is art that's the one where I use the ticket that I made I've got this little tag I might put something on that I'm not sure and again with that one this is the ATC and I've added a safety pin a, a rusted, rusted old safety pin and I've sewn around that this one I've sewn on the lace and I've added the future because it's palmistry related and this is the one I cut out from the second masterboard. I've added some fabric to that, not fabric, uh, string. And I've added a clock to that one. This one, I say the moment is now. I love this one. This is Fortune. Um, this I've just added uh, an eyelet and a little safety pin. Love that one. Another tag. I've sewn around the edges, I've added some thread, or a bit of ribbon actually. Another one of that one, I like it so much, I've used it more than once. This is the uh, palmistry one I like, and that says the future, and I've added one of those safety pin tabs. I made a little envelope, 
I printed out on some thinner paper, not the card, and I made an envelope, which I could pop some things in. I made this tag. I decided to cut a fancy top on it. I added the palmistry. I added a veil of cloth over it um, to indicate that we can't really see the future. Uh, this one I finished off. The time is now. And I'm not going to use that one. So that's what I made out of um, a couple of masterboards. So I'm really pleased with that pile now. Some I'll be able to use in the altered book, but some I'll be able to use in other things. So I hope you enjoyed watching that and I hope you gave us some ideas for ways to make your own. Thanks for watching. Bye.